This video is brought to you by RVs of America in American Fork, Utah. Visit us online at www.rvsofamerica.com. That's rvsofamerica.com. This is a 2006 Grand Junction by Dutchman. This is a 36 foot triple slide super high end coach. Here we have this is the more ride system. This is on the hitch. That takes away some of the impact when you're braking. You have some nice outside lights. You also have the more ride system on the actual suspension on the axles, which takes away some of the shock when you're on bumpy roads. This has two big super slides, you can barely tell. This is about an 11 foot slide. On the other side you have a 12 foot slide. And upstairs you have a pretty large side with a king size bed. Right here, this is your central vac system. Here you have, this is all carpeted underneath here. This is considered a four season RV. And it's covered, the underbelly is covered getting kind of dark so I'm trying to do this I'll try to get the outside done quickly here we are Grand Junction these are awesome trailers these are what some of my favorite trailers let me show you this front compartment really quick I'll open it up this trailer has tons and tons of storage you can see all throughout here this is the electrical box where you can hook into a generator. You can see this is all plumbed for a generator. It has a switch inside. Right here you can kind of see there's little cut, cut holes where you can actually cut out and put the generator. Super easy to put in. Some places I've seen some dealers charge upwards of seven to eight thousand dollars to install an entire generator system. That includes welding this box, running wires, doing the switches, plus the generator. Are pretty pricey the nice thing about this one is most everything's already done all you need to do is get a generator and put it in really beautiful RV right here you have this is the door for the legs beyond this wire those are supposed to be stuffed in there you have a that's jack right here you have the seven and a half gallon propane tanks. Over here you have an outside light. This is where you can hook up all your valves, your water, fresh water, your Santa flush. It has a sewer flush. Outlets, outside shower. This little compartment right here opens up and there's an outside shower. Here's your furnace. Here's your pass through. Other side of the storage. Getting a little dark, so. Very, very nice unit. The decals are in great shape. It's kind of hard to see in the dark, but they're actually in excellent, excellent condition. Back here we are. You know, something to keep in mind, these Grand Junctions, they're very, they're, they're considered higher end units. You can see how they do an end cap, a whole fiberglass end cap back here, opposed to this trailer to the right. It's a little bit cheaper you can see the back of it's kind of flat you know they don't put a lot of it's a lot less work and cheaper this you can see it's a big end cap most RVs you're gonna get anywhere from a 6 to 10 gallon this is actually a 12 gallon hot water heater so you know you're, you're just gonna get a lot of the extras when you get into a unit like this 36 feet the dry weight's just a little bit over 12,000 pounds, so it's heavy, but it's built. And down here you can kind of see that's uh, hydraulic legs, that's the door that opens up the trailer. Now I'm going to take you over here and take you inside. Here we are inside. And, uh, how do you propose that we do that? Right here you have a little 
little side chair here. You have a couch, hide a bed, table and chairs. Back there in this right corner is a desk and chair. Over here you have the television or entertainment. You can see how large is it how large it is in this unit. You know, you have that up little window up there that's nice, kinda makes it feel a little bit more open. High high ceilings. These ceilings are actually a padded, kinda like a foam, which is supposed to give you a little bit better R value. This carpet is brand new. Another thing that's brand new I forgot to mention outside was those tires. Brand spanking new tires. Heavy, uh, heavy grade too. We we picked when we picked it up, we actually put brand new tires on it. So here we are. This trailer has night and day shades throughout. Let me show you right here what that is. Pull it down for daytime. It's a little bit lighter, and for nighttime, you can pull it down and it's puts a lot makes it a lot darker. And it has those all throughout. Here you can look at the storage, kind of throughout has some storage here. Over here you have the panel box, converter. Let me show you inside here. We got some extra light bulbs. This is the generator switch. You got some outside lights. You have over here, you have all your testers, your pump, your water heater. This is your AC unit remote control. I Something that I really like about this is the independent slide out controls. Some systems they do a hydraulic system which means you just have to you have to run them all out at the same time and you know if you just want to open one and not every one it just becomes a little bit more difficult. The nice thing about this one is you can open them up one at a time. Of course the other problem you have with it all being on one switch is if one goes out they're all out. This one, they're all independently driven by motors. So one motor goes out, you replace only one. So lots of the higher end coaches I've noticed, they seem to do that more so than anything else. Over here I want to show you, this is a central vac system. Let's go over here and you got a fireplace, television, and that fireplace actually does put out real heat if you want it to. Got the ceiling fan on right there. And this does have surround sound, has a subwoofer. I have it kind of turned down. You can see the speaker right there. There's one over there. And then there's ones up in the front above the TV, a center and front and left and right, and then a subwoofer down under the fridge but here you have you have a nice DVD surround sound system television working good fridge works great over here you can see kind of some of the detail that they put on this this denture crown molding and this is all real wood this is very nice all real wood solid wood all the way this is wood insert in the fridge you know, they, they really did put a lot into this. That's why it weighs around 12,000 pounds. Right here, this is solid surface Corian countertop. So those that's not a laminate or Formica cheap stuff. This is really nice quality. Over here you have, it's just like you would have in a house, a big, big full-size sink there. Lots and lots of cupboards throughout here all the way up there fantastic fan system with a rain sensor so if you're out if that fan comes on turns off turns on tries to cool off the temperature in here if it starts raining it will automatically shut so you have a nice window there nice little window there i love that they put some space next to the stove i've seen so many times where you don't have anywhere to put anything while you're cooking so you can see this has a light on it, fan, this is the microwave, and it is actually a convection oven, microwave oven. So it can cook like a regular microwave, or you can actually have it kind of cook like a toaster oven. 
so you can make things crispy. Or you can do a half and half. I use, I have one at my house, I use it all the time, I love it. All this cupboard over here. Lots and lots and lots of storage. Both sides. This just passes through is what it does actually. But lots of storage. You can see this is all real wood. That's not that's not it's not wrapped. Over here you have a nice computer area. I'm stepping on this plastic. It's making a little noise. Keeps the carpet clean and brand new. We put that in brand new, so you can see all this nice woodwork lighting and everything this unit has a hundred and ten gallon fresh water tank which is huge compared to most this right here is your thermostat for your heat your AC and also a fantastic fan and all switches this is another thing you know some of these trailers they have little clickers Everything on this trailer works by switches. Now coming up into the bedroom. Now this unit does have two AC units. So it has one in the bedroom and then it has a central air unit that gets everything throughout. It has a forced air which is goes all the way through the floor. Here you have a vanity. Over here you can put a TV where those flowers are. I personally think the flowers are nicer than a TV. Could read a book instead of watch TV. Look at a photo album. Like on the bed. This is the king size bed. Has some nice reading lights there. And that's why you don't need a TV. <laughs> Here you have a nice drawer down here. I'm gonna open it and show you. Something that I wanna show you is these are on these nice, heavy duty, full extension tracks. They're not on them, those little, some of them just slide right on the wood. So those come all the way out, which is really cool, so. And then over here, you have a lot of storage under this bed area. So I'll put this down and Nice king size bed. Now back here, you got that dresser area, and right here you have the a mirror makeup area, whatever you want to use that for. But I want to show you behind it, if you're feeling like you need some sunlight, let me show you. It opens up and becomes a window. And that blind comes down too and makes it nice and dark. Plus you can close these off and make it even darker at night. We have everything working on switches. Nice medicine cabinet area. I'll show you the shower really quick. Here we are, got a nice large shower actually compared to some. Nice shower head there. You have this dome too which goes up even higher. And that's for if you wanna sit down women if they want to shave it makes it nice and easier something that I want to mention about this trailer especially with the shower and just this entire upstairs area in general I stand about six feet tall and I have a good six to eight inches above my head so th that's one nice thing with these Grand Junctions that we found is we've sold them to taller people because we get some we get some guys that work in the oil field and these guys are 6'5", six, 6'7", six, and these trailers, lots of these trailers in the upstairs area, they don't even make them more than 6 feet. So let alone these showers, you know, some of these guys have to put their head in that dome. If you're 6'5", you won't even have to put your head in that dome. If you're 7 foot, you might, but it's one nice thing. This, this does have a lot, a lot of headroom compared to most trailers. Now you have a, more closets in here. This is for hanging. 
have a light in here. It's actually pretty deep compared to some. Nice full extension drawers. Come all the way out like I showed you already. Here's a nice little window here you can open. And then this has a huge, huge closet. And this actually has outlet. And if you wanted to, you could take this shelf out and you could put a washer and dryer unit in here. Um, some people put the two in one units. Some people, you could, you could even probably put a stackable and this one is because it's tall enough and wide enough. So pretty neat. It, it really, really nice trailer, you know. Once again, this is, this is, you can kind of see, this is, this is padded. You know, and they, instead of, some of them just put a wood, a really thin, thin paneling up there. Um, which obviously your heat is going to leak out a lot faster compared to this plastic and foam behind it. Plus it's insulated up there too. So this is a Four Seasons, 36 foot, triple slide, very spacious, elegant. I think it's elegant, high end, beautiful Grand Junction. Very, very nice. We have other trailers like it. We, we, we try to specialize more in these larger fifth wheels and motorhomes. We also carry other stuff. You can check out our website at www.rvsofamerica.com. Call me at 801-860-0035 or you can call 801-602-5511. If you have any questions, call, text, Go on our website, ask us some questions, look us up on Facebook, Instagram. We're always trying to share good information and knowledge on that stuff. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful night.